Hi guys, today we're going to be learning how to resize a hammer of a watch. A few tools you'll need is one of our recommended watch resizing tools. Now, it's not needed, but we recommend having a pair of needle nose pliers on hand. First, we'll take the watch out of the box. We open the clasp. You look at the side of the watch band, and you'll find the pinholes containing the link. You want to find the side that you want to take the link from. We're going to gently insert our watch resizing tool into one of these pinholes. It does not matter which one. We're going to gently push on the pin until you see part of the pin removed from the watch band. You want to gently push to make sure the crown of the pin comes out. If you do not see a crown, simply insert it back in the way it came and push it the other direction. With this one, we do have the crown, so we're going to go ahead and remove it. This is where your needle nose pliers comes in. Push your pin. Move this out of the way. So there we have the clasp open. So we're going to go ahead and complete the link removal on this side. We're going to repeat step one. And gently push until we see the crown again. You want to make note of the direction you removed the pin from so you can reinsert it the correct way. Then remove the pin. Now you have a full length taken out. These steps can be repeated on the other side of the watch band. Now we're just going to simply reinsert the pin the way it came out. And use your watch resizing tool to set the pin back in place. And if you have difficulty lining it up with the pin, you can use a hard surface such as the side of the pliers. Push against like that, and then use your resizing tool. The base of your resizing tool can be adjusted to allow the height to meet it. Now we've reinserted the pin back in the band and close it up. Now keep in mind to remove the same amount of links on each side of the clasp to keep your watch even on your wrist. And for safekeeping, we recommend keeping your links that you've removed in your watch box, just in case. Leave a comment below or send us an email and let us know if you have any questions.